Hi folks, thanks for tuning in. My name is William Meckles, and today I'm going to talk about some of the haversacks I like to use. Now, like I mentioned in one of my earlier videos, uh, with everything that I carry now, it kind of mimics stuff that I carried through the Marine Corps. And um, from the day I went to School of Infantry and we blew up some claymores, I picked up some claymore bags. And from then on, I carried them. I mean, I graduated to a map case because I needed a larger pouch, but at the beginning, this is what I used to carry. Um, there's actually two of them here. The first one, uh, this is what they look like when you first get them. There'll be some cord up in here, your detonator, and then your uh, your actual your claymore right there. And all it is is, you know, just a canvas bag with a shoulder strap. And what fits in here nicely is a canteen and canteen cup and a poncho. So I could throw this on me when I was you know, just going to be walking around uh, maybe base camp and I just want to have a couple essentials with me. And then when I needed some more space, I took out the uh, center seam and now I could fit my map and some other gear in here. So this is where I carried with me uh, while I was in the core. Uh, the disadvantage of this, of course, it's not waterproof, it's just canvas. So now what's available on the market that I really like um, are these haversacks that you can get from Rob at CanteenShop.com or uh, these are the same uh, haversacks that Dave Canterbury has. The only difference is he has his Pathfinder logo right here. Now this one's a little bit shorter um, than the one that Rob sells. I mean this is the one that Rob sells. I just modified it if I can show you in here. The bag was a little bit too long for me when I walked it um, scraped on my hip. So I took about um, four fingers almost a, a hands width of fabric and folded it inside out and sewed a new seam in there. Give me a bag that's just a little bit smaller but I can still fit you know if you want to call it a 10 piece kit, 5 piece kit you know your basic items. Uh, you, I can fit my canteen in here, my cup, my poncho, some line, uh, small first aid kit, iodine, my um, Laplander saw, uh, and a bunch of other things. You know, everything fits right in here not too heavy and I can it's quick access for light trucks around the woods or around camp so got a lot of use out of this and then I'm gonna show you something I had made just recently if you saw in one of my uh, last videos I uh, showed some of the gear that I took out with me to an advanced Pathfinder training class and one of them was a sea line bag that failed the um, bottom seams of it uh, the glue finally gave out so I took uh, the remnants over to my seamstress along with my uh, haversack as a template and had her duplicate it using the waterproof fabric from the seal line bag. So the only difference um, from a haversack that you buy from Rob is you know, I had her make it already at a, at a shorter, length, shorter length and then I had her provide a, a, a seam right here. Let's see if I can get it in frame on the top flat pocket so that um, you know sometimes if I've got uh, smaller items in here uh, when I open this up they you know gravity pulls them down and you know I'm worried if I'm fishing out something uh, that you know one or more items might fall out onto the ground and I won't feel that or realize it so with this it's a little bit smaller it holds a little bit more snug uh, I think the items might be a little less likely to fall out you know this is waterproof it's almost got like a rubber coating on the inside of it so um, you know we've got some training classes coming up um, I'm gonna take them out there and try it out see how it does so next two classes coming up will be in February of 2012 at the end of the month for a basic Pathfinder class in the Everglades and then we've got a right behind it the following weekend is an advanced class in the same location so Hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe it gave you some ideas of how you can make a haversack of your own. Um, or if you're just looking for an inexpensive option, you know, hit your surplus store and pick up an old Claymore bag. Thanks for watching. Be safe out there and enjoy your adventures.